when the bass not It be so hard, got the 808 trying to make it face not Other rappers they chill but still Hello, I'm Hector Sanchez with NorthTexasFisticuffs.com Tonight is the first edition of In The Ring Brought to you by Combat Sports TV Here with Roberto Marroquin, Dallas's own uh, professional writer, can you tell us a little about what you've been doing since your last fight and uh, how you've been training for this upcoming fight on November 19th? Well, um, this, is, this is gonna be my second fight with uh, Paul Reyes in, in my corner and uh, it, it's been great, you know, I've been going back to the basics, you know, using my speed, not relying too much on the power. Um, you know, for my past couple of fights, I've been, you know, being counter punching, you know, relying too much on power and trying to go for the knockout. But yeah, I've been sparring uh, Manuel, um, Miguel Buendia, and a couple of guys, you know, and I've been actually using my speed a lot more. And, you know, I feel like I'm more comfortable, you know, going back to, to the way I used to fight back in the amateurs, you know. Um, using more of a lateral movement, not going straight back, you know. I, I'm positive, I'm, I'm pretty positive I'm going to be going straight back, you know, a little bit, but it's going to be a, a little less than, than, than the usual. Uh, since I'm, yeah, well, yeah, I probably don't get to, to see much of this. So, uh, actually, I was going forward in my, in my fights, but during spawn, we, you know, I've actually been going back a little bit too, uh, too straight, and uh, you know, that's what we've work, been working on. You know, just relying too much on, um, actually rely on my, my length, my length of jab, right? and, and my speed. And, you know, basically just going back to, to the one two, and you know, to the basic, and. And you know, just uh, I know I hit hard, so yeah. then I gotta come. So <laughs> <laughs> you got to, you have a great left hook uh, in your last fight. You won by unanimous unanimous decision. Are you gonna be using that a lot more this time? Well, uh, you know, I've been I've been using more of the uppercuts. You know, those sneaky shots uh, that I that I actually got. I just haven't put it to use. Uh, Y'all yeah, probably got a little a little bit of a glance of it uh, when I dropped Beranza the, the last. Uh, what was in the third or sixth round? I forgot what round right. I dropped it. Um, actually, it's, a couple of T's came out with that and up again. But my, my left hook is always on target. I mean, no matter when I throw it, I let it go. And it's, it's just, I haven't, I don't know. It's, it has its own own little brain. It's, own, it's like my instinct. I don't know. It just comes out of nowhere. Exactly. What is your weight now, and what are you uh, scheduled to come in uh, for the fight? I'm on weighing right now about 131. Uh, not too heavy. Uh, yeah. I've been working out since actually a, a week or two after my the fight against Beranza. So I've been in pretty, pretty good shape. Uh, my weight is pretty low right. compared to um, other times. I mean, sometimes I'll be up in the 40s, but that trouble, you know. <laughs> right. Uh, I understand there was a fighter, but he got scratched, and they have a new guy. Do you know anything about him or? Actually. Um, I had my iPad with me earlier, and I, I read the email. His name is Carlos um, I, I can't even pronounce. He's, a, he's from Puerto Rico. Okay. Um, but he's 12 and three, I believe. Um, and you know, he's a pretty decent fighter. You know, right. you know, those durable guys that just like to fight on the inside. You know. Um, right. They like to hold a lot, but I just saw a little glimpse of him in, in Yahoo. I mean. In, not y'all, YouTube. Okay. But you know, he's he seems a, like a guy that's gonna give me some rounds, and I think that's what top top ranks I, I, idea, you know, to, to give me more rounds than, than the usual, right? Since you know, I mean, sometimes a lot of people think, well, you know, he has a lot of knockouts in his record, but I actually um, noticed that you know, you start relying too much on your power, trying to knock everybody out, and the day that you don't get a knockout, you kind of feel disappointed. And you know that's not the way you should, you should go in there, kind of get the experience, try to work on, on what you need to work on for whenever you actually get to a world title. Exactly. You have all those uh, different weapons you know, to you. Right. It, it sounds like you're not really worried about him. Uh, what are your plans? You planned on? You have a prediction, or are you just gonna go in and do some work and uh, you know, take I, him out when you can? You know, I, I don't like predictions much. You know, <laughs> you know, I, I don't like to uh, to say what round or anything, but you know, I'm just gonna go in there. And, like I said, I I wanna. I'm not focusing on any uh, knockouts or anything. Um, I wanna go in there and try to use my boxing skills, uh, try to use my speed. Uh, and most importantly, my, my jab. I mean, I have, compared to the other guys I fight, they're all 5.5s, five 5.4s five five and stuff. They're all shorter right. than I do, but I always make, make things a lot harder than what they, they should be. You know, letting the guys come inside rather than, you know, keeping them in the outside with my, with my jab and stuff. But, you know, that's those little things I would want to 
uh, we're gonna work on and in my fight. I mean, we can work at, in, in sparring and everything. You know, everything counts in the actual performance in the ring. Exactly. Uh, can you tell the fans who are you training with and where are you training in Dallas right now? Or are you training in Dallas? Well, I've been, it's, you know, half and half. I, I usually train at Benson's gym at um, Ray's um, Boxing Club. and. Um, and for about what is it, Monday through, through Wednesday, and then Thursday through Saturdays, I work at, at old Jeans Jeans Gym, a little boxing gym. Okay. Uh, you know, it's my second fight with Paul Reyes. I feel real comfortable with him. Um, you know, he's, he's had uh, Donald Curry, Paul Ayala, who, uh, who I'm here at his card tonight. Uh, pretty, pretty couple of good uh, surprises tonight, but uh, you know. I just feel a lot more comfortable with Paul, you know, and just, like I said, we were just going back to the basics, um, sticking to my boxing skills, my speed, and, and hopefully we can get that jab mastered before we get to, uh, to one of a title opportunity. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you for, our, for your time, Roberto. You we hope to see you in the ring on November 19th, and good luck on that fight. We know you're going to win. Thank you. And uh, you have any uh, shout outs you want to give to anyone, to, the, to your fans in Dallas or Fort Worth? And well, that's, this is this is me, man. I mean, I put everything down in the line. and. Um, win or lose, like we're gonna we're gonna give a hell of a fight for the for all the fans. Good, we, we're glad we're glad you're here, and we, we hope to see you next time. And good luck again on the fight. Thank and you. And we'll see you next time on Combat Sports TV.